Hello, welcome to another Artifacts video. So we've got this button here called Enable Auto Keyframe. So if I wanted to enable a keyframe, all I could do is I could move this into a different position. And you see the keyframe is automatically created. So then if we go over here, for instance, move it somewhere else, it's going to automatically animate. So you don't actually need to click on the on the little clock thing there. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the anchor point here. So the anchor point is kind of a cool thing because, and it's best to see it, like the anchor point moves with regards to the layer. So if we get into this position where we've got the layer, you can use a shortcut, Control, Shift, Alt, and N to get here. What you can see is, if we take a look at both the position and the anchor point here, you'll see when I move the anchor point in the layer, only it's not changing the positions. So you can see that wherever I move the anchor point, it's sort of like in the opposite place. So if I move the anchor point to the top left-hand corner, then that's where it's going to register the top left-hand corner of the image. If we go to the bottom right, you can see that's going to be the bottom right there. Top right is on the bottom left. So it's sort of like the, the opposite, wherever you put it. Okay, now you can also, of course, use the pan behind tool, and that will let you move. You can see you can move both of these things at the same time. So if I just move this to 960, 1080, I'm going to have it in the, in the perfect spot, right? Okay, so one thing you can do is you can actually create animation without doing like motion stuff. And the way to do that is simply to have, uh, look at the scale keyframe. So for instance, let's turn the auto keyframe back on. And we're just going to set this scale to zero here. And then over here, we're going to just set it to 100. And you can see that already creates an animation. What we could do is we could unlock this as well, and then we could just get this to zero. And then we could set this one to 100. Let's take a look at what that does. You can see that's actually going to create more dynamic effect. This is, so this is actually kind of like a cooler effect probably if you just change one axis like that. So one way to look at the orbit is we could we could position this in the center and then all we could do is we could just do a full rotation. So if we did a full rotation, it will go all the way around, right? So we just start on here. We'll do a rotation here at zero. Goes to the end, we'll page down. And we're going to put this minus one. So there's the keyframe. So you can see I haven't exactly lined it up, but you can see the idea, right? So this is a way that you can get like an orbiting object. Let's look at some of these things. Layer. So we can do layer transform. Let's try flipping this vertically, see what happens. So you can see now it's on the other side. Now there's actually different ways that you could do a flip. So if you look here in the effects and presets, so you can see it's currently going counterclockwise. If I wanted to change that, I could change this number to one. So we look at that. Now you can see it's going clockwise. 